All right, let's do some more fun theory today. So what we're gonna do starting today is every Monday, we're going to look at a real exam problem that I have assigned in one of my classes, and this is one of them. So the problem here is we have an NFA and we want to convert it to a, reg a regular expression or a regex. So a lot of students st uh, struggle with this particular conversion, and I want to make this as easy and straightforward as possible. And it actually is. So here's my handy guide. So the first step is to uh, fix the NFA. And then the second step is to pick states repeatedly with few transitions and then three repeat until we get the desired regular expression. So let's get started. So what do you do to fix the NFA? It's actually really simple. All that you have to do is, the first part of that is to make a brand new start state. I'm gonna call S, so a brand new start state, and it has an epsilon transition to the old start state. Always will do that, regardless of what the NFA looks like. The other part of it is to do a very similar thing with any final state. Well, there happens to only be one here, but you always, always, always will make a brand new final state. I'm gonna call it F, and make the previous final states no longer final, and then epsilon from those final states to the brand new final state. Cool, so we fixed the NFA, so that step's done. Now we have to pick states with few transitions and repeat. So what do we do here? Well, we can pick any of the four states in the middle, not the start and the final state, but one of the four middle states in this case. So. Q3 looks like a good candidate because it has relatively few transitions, but you can pick any state you, that you want. As long as you apply the method correctly, you can pick any state. But Q3 will make our lives as easy as possible in this case. So let's rep out Q3. And for sake of clarity, I'm going to modify this picture in place. So let's see. What I would recommend that you do for every time you want to rip a state out is to make what I call an in and an out list. So on these lists, I'm going to maintain on the in list, for example, I'm going to put every state that goes into Q3. And on the out list, I'm going to put every state that can be reached from Q3. So What's on the end list here? Which states go into Q3? Well, those are Q1 and Q2. So I'm gonna write those two states down. And on my out list, well, what states can be reached from Q3? Well, that's just F in this case. So what are we gonna do with this information? Well, you're always going to pick a state from the end list and a state from the out list and I'm gonna form a pair between them like this. And what are we gonna do on the pair? We're going to add a transition to the machine. And what does the transition look like? Well, we're trying to emulate Q3 going away. So by having a transition directly from Q1, the one we picked, to F, the one we picked, we're gonna to try to emulate as if we went through Q3, but we're trying to remove Q3. So let's see, well, how did we get through, how do we get to Q3 from Q1? Well, it's just the empty string in this particular case. So empty string, there is a self loop on Q3, which has an A on it. So to represent with a regex and any number of times to do this self loop, that's just the star of whatever's on the self loop, which happens to be A in this case. So we have a star so far. 
And then how do we get to Q uh, to the final state from Q3? Well, that's just epsilon. So the final transition that we have is A star. So I'm going to have a transition from Q1 to F, which is A star. Maybe I should put it higher up. Cool. So then now let's look at the other pair in this case. I pick a state from the end list, and I have to look at every single pair. I can't just pick one. I gotta look at all of them. So Q2 to F. Well, how do we get from Q2 to Q3? Well, that's just reading a B. So we have B so far. And again, self loop on Q3, which is an A. So that's A star. So we have B A star so far. And then Q3 to F is nothing. So the transition from Q2 to F is B A star. And then now, since we handled all pairs over here, now we can delete any transition involving Q3. Because we are emulating every possible transition through Q3 with another transition. Cool. So now we just pick another state. So now one of these three. So let's pick, let's just say Q2. But again, you can pick any one that you want. You won't get the same answer necessarily, but you will get a correct answer. So let's see. Let's again make our in and out list. So what states go into Q2? Well, that's just Q1. And what states can we reach from Q2? Well, that's Q0 and the, the final state, F in this case. So again, let's form a pair. So Q1 to Q0. Oh, well, there's a transition already there. So how do we handle this? Well, we can either take the existing path to Q0, or we can take this longer path that went through Q2 to Q0. So to represent or with a regex is union. So we're going to have on this transition right here, be union something. So what is that something? Well, we picked Q1. So how do we get to Q2? Well, that's just reading an A. So we have A so far. Notice no self loop on Q2. So that'll give us nothing in the string, uh, in the regex that we're deriving. And then from Q2 to Q0 is an A. So the total regex is a, A. So then on the transition from 1 to 0, we're going to have not B, but we're going to have B union A, A. And then similar story with this one. Well, there's an existing transition from Q1 to F. And so we're handling this pair now. So how did we get there? Well, Q1 to Q2 again is an A. Then from Q2 to F, we've already found out is B A star. So the total regex along this path is A B A star because there's no self loop here. So the final regex from Q1 to QF is A star, the one that's already there, union this other one. So A B A star. And then now we can finally get rid of Q2 and every transition involving it. Cool. So now we pick another state to remove. It doesn't matter which one we remove, so let's just say Q0. So let's rip Q0. Again, in and out list. So which states go into Q0? Well, that's S and Q1. And where can Q0 reach? Well, Q0 can only go to Q1. All right, so let's form a pair. So S to Q1. So how do we get to in the, into Q0? Well, epsilon. There's no self loop on Q0 right now. So uh, that will give us nothing. 
and to go to Q1, well, that's an A. There's no transition from S to Q1 yet so far, so I'm going to add one in on A. And then now let's do the Q1 to Q1 transition, the pair, I mean. So let's see, how do we get from Q1 to Q0? Well, that's this complicated regex, B union A, A. And then how do we get from Q0? There's no self-loop, so that, that'll give us nothing. And then Q0 to Q1, what do we read? We read an A. So the final transition is a self-loop because it goes from Q1 to itself, and it is B union A, A concatenated with A. And so this is something that students make mistakes on all the time. So they say B union A, A, A. The problem is that this A should be concatenated with the B U and the A, A, not just the two A's right here. So what they really should have done is to put parentheses around the whole thing. And that's it for uh, Q0. So now we remove Q0 and every transition involving it. So then now the final one is just ripping Q1. There's no other choice. So they, so this one is actually really easy for the in and out list because that is just S going in and F coming out. So we, we almost didn't even need to make the list. So let's see. So how do we get from S to F? Well, S going into Q1, well, that's just an A. Then self-loop on this means that we're going to have that whole regex right here, whole thing, star. And then concatenated with this whole regex right here. So at the end of the day, so I'm just making some room here. I remember that it's an A. So we have an A here concatenated with this thing star concatenated with this thing. So we have B union A A. So that's the self loop regex, whole thing star. The ex extra parentheses here are required because if I didn't have the parentheses here, then the star would only apply to the A. People are excited about theory upstairs. All right, so then A, then this thing's self-loop, and then concatenated with this lasting transition. A star union, A, B, A star. And then now we have, are finally done with Q1 because we handled that pair. And then, now here's a final mistake my students make. So they say this thing right here is the desired regex. The problem is it's not. It's a generalized NFA, a GNFA. What do they actually want? They want the regex on the transition. So I'm going to use a different color for this. So the regex is, so let's just read it off. So it's A concatenated with a big boy whole thing star concatenated with A star union A, B, A star. So a relatively simple example, but all that we had to do was just work with one state and every transition involving that one state and didn't have to touch anything else in the NFA. And as long as we can repeat this process, and we can, we can always obtain a regex. So therefore, this is the regex that we can make from this NFA.